For the first time, U.S. President Donald Trump has promised a smooth transition to President-elect Joe Biden. This happened a day after the U.S. Capitol mob attack and Congress certifying the results of the November 3, 2020 elections, which deemed Biden as the next president of the United States. A new administration will be inaugurated on January 20th. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. In a video he released on Twitter, he condemned rioters who rampaged in his name. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. The address was made after calls to remove Trump surfaced following yesterday's Capitol attack. Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer urged Vice President Mike Pence to invoke the 25th Amendment, which allows a majority of the cabinet to remove a president deemed unable to discharge his duties. They threatened otherwise to impeach Trump for an unprecedented second time in hopes that the Senate will now oust him. The reprehensible acts yesterday were incited by the President of the United States. The fish stinks from the head. I join the Senate Democratic leader in calling on the Vice President to remove this President by immediately invoking the 25th Amendment. If the Vice President and the Cabinet do not act, the Congress may be prepared to move forward with impeachment. Two members of the Trump Cabinet resigned Thursday, U.S. time, in protest over the storming of the Capitol by a mob of Trump supporters. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao and Education Secretary Betsy DeVos both said they could no longer remain in office after the violent rampage on a ceremonial session of Congress that certified President-elect Joe Biden's victory. President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will be officially sworn into office on January 20. Joshua Arimado, Advocates Philippines